Hello, today we're going to talk about student performance measures and how to upload them. First, go to Falcon World. Falcon World can be found at https colon slash slash falconworld.clsd.k12.pa.us. Once you are in Falcon World, you'll want to navigate to Observation Studio, which can be found on the left-hand menu. Once you click on Observation Studio, it'll take you into the platform. You'll notice that now there is a new window on the left-hand side that says Student Performance Measure. This is where you'll be doing all of your work. To start the proposal, you'll notice that SPM Proposal is linked. Go ahead and click on this. When you click on the link, it'll take you to a new window. At this window, you'll want to follow the instructions by downloading the Student Performance Measure template, and you can do this by clicking on the blue link. You'll complete that particular template, filling out all the information like you have in the past, and you save that to your computer. Once you have that saved to your computer, you will click on the Browse button, and you will follow wherever you saved your particular file, select that file, then click Submit. Once you click Submit, you'll come back out to the front page and you'll notice that now under SPM Proposal, you have completed. This allows you to know where you're at in the process. You'll also notice that two other links have lit up the midpoint review, and the SPM final review. When your advisor approves your SPM proposal, you'll notice that the completed will switch over to green and say approved. Mid-year or at the end of the year, when you're ready to start your next part of the student performance measure, you can click on the midpoint review option. If you do not have to do this midpoint review optional selection, you can always skip over at the end of the year to the SPM final review. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to click on midpoint review, the optional selection. Brings me out to another screen. And on this screen, you'll see that now there's an option that says SPM uploaded, click here to view. You'll want to click on this particular link because this is an updated version of your document with approval signatures on it. When you download this document, you'll complete the midpoint review and save it. Once you've saved your file, click on the Browse button, browse to that particular link, select your file, and then submit it. When you submit, it'll take you back out to the front page. You'll notice that it now says completed under the midpoint review optional section. And when your advisor approves that particular document, you'll notice that it will switch over and now say approved. At the end of the year, when you have to do your final submission and complete the form, you'll click on the SPM Final Review, the last link in this particular section. It'll take you out to a new site that looks very, very similar. We'll follow the same procedures. We're trying to keep everything consistent. You'll click on the new link that has appeared, SPM Uploaded, click here to view. This will be the latest version of your document. It'll have all the approvals. If you did the midpoint review, it'll have that information on there as well. You'll complete the final sections of this particular document and save it. Once you have that ready to go, you'll click on the Browse button and you'll browse out to your particular file and select it. Once you've selected your file, you'll click the Submit button. When you click the Submit button, it'll again take you out to your main base page, and you'll notice that now it says Completed for the SPM Final Review. 
When your supervisor and your principal review the document and they approve it, it'll turn from completed to the green approved. And this has completed the process for the student performance measure. If you have any questions or need help with this, feel free to reach out to Technology Services. Thank you.